You give me this feeling, babe. This feeling inside. I feel loved and feel loved and feel loved. Give me paradise. Oh. Shouldn't I realize <laughs> you're the highest of the high? If you don't know that I'll see you. So don't ever wonder, don't ever wonder. That is a message from spirit. <laughs> like that song has been on my mind all day. Shouldn't I realize Maxwell? If you don't know that I'll see you, so don't ever wonder, wonder. Welcome, welcome Virgos, welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. To another video, guys. So, like, I'm going to switch it up just a tad bit, guys. And we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to tap into your person's feelings. And we're going to talk about how they feel about you. And we're going to see how you feel about them. Then we're going to bring it together at the end and do a quick tarot read um, to kind of bring the story together. Okay, so let's do it. Now, the first three, three cards... <laughs> Is going to be how they are viewing you. And then it's going to be how you view them. And we're going to bring it together. If you're new to the channel, guys, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. All right. Um, for the ones that are pre that have pre-ordered the money magnet oil, I am utilizing this new moon energy, guys, for the new batch. So um It'll be ready <laughs> within the next few days, okay? So, I'll let you guys know when I'm putting it on my Etsy shop. So, you can shop there or you can contact me via email if you would like to speak to me personally on, you know, uh, on what's in the item or how to use it. Or if you want to just simply order through directly through me, I'll put all that information in the drop box below. All right. If you want to book a personal reading, guys, reach out to me via email um, and I'll let you know what sales I have going on. OK, so let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. OK, so Virgo, we're going to see how your person is viewing you currently. <laughs> all right. So. We got the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Pentacles, and the Star card. All right, so, oh, so we got the Magician here at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so they see you as trying to manifest your dreams, like they see you that you're trying to do something big because I also have the Star here which is star quality okay and i got the ten of pentacles all right so they see that you're trying to make your dreams come true okay see look we got the five of pentacles and the temperance so you guys may have been in a financial burden burdensome situation or some of you just feel left out in the cold or you know there's just some type of burden um of rejection we got the temperance card here okay so you're trying to find balance and healing um out of a bad situation you're trying to make the best out of a bad situation that's what i'm getting here all right so we got the knight of pentacles let's talk all right so we know the knight of pentacles as being capricorn's energy virgo taurus or capricorn but you know mainly capricorn's energy but this is when things are moving very slowly okay things um are progressing slowly um, so they may feel like you are moving really slow when it comes to certain things, um, or they feel like things are just taking its time to manifest into your reality. 
even though I do feel like they see you trying to make your dreams come true. Okay, they see you. They see that you're trying to manifest. You're manifesting here. Um, we got the star card, which is Aquarius's energy, but this is also talking about having hope and faith. But this is also talking about star quality, okay? So I definitely do see that you guys are like have some type of wish fulfillment or something that you're going after, a goal that you're trying to attain. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So this is something long-term. Um, this is, you know, you looking at your finances and coming out in a better financial situation. This is also family, okay? So I'm going to grab a few clarifiers, and we're going to see what we can get here. Especially here with the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh, okay. We got the Empress that wanted to jump out. That's a lot of cards. But we got the Strength card. Leo's energy. We got the Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries, and we got the Empress, um, Libra, Taurus's energy. But I'm also getting children. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands is very young, light energy, very um, childlike, playful energy. Well, the Knight of Pentacles is very serious because he thinks things through and analyzes, coming up with these ideas. And this is also talking about a small offer, okay? If there's an offer on the table, it's, it's really small. But I want to, I want a direct message. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, yeah. See, we got the Seven of Pentacles. See, yeah, things are moving slow. And they feel like you're kind of, like, disappointed um, that things are moving as slow as they are. We got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ooh, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody's pretty, pretty ticked off that things are moving really slow. Yeah, see, some, I feel like somebody feels like you're kind of stuck or it's taking a long time for you to, uh, for things to move along for you, okay? But the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, this is very much so like stuck energy, okay? Why is the Star card here? Okay, that jumped right out. Yeah, we got the Justice card. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, but yeah, see, we got the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands. This is someone telling, speaking their truth with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so definitely someone wants to, uh, wants clarity on a situation um, or wants to see if some, somebody's hoping that somebody is doing the right thing because somebody here uh, is gaining, trying to, they're trying to gain some clarity. And they're hoping that you're doing the right thing. They're not sure as to why things aren't progressing as quickly as they should be. But let's see what we got the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles is definitely um, someone's stability and home life and possibly even like a marriage. Okay, definitely I'm getting that. Or family. This is family uh oriented okay yeah somebody's very hostile with the seven of wands like someone is really hostile i want to see why the ten of pentacles is here the knight of swords okay yeah knight of swords lots of knights here so things are very much so like in the beginning stages knights are very kind of like young like energy um, the Knight of Swords is definitely somebody rushing in or rushing out, um, but nonetheless kind of irresponsible, okay? Irresponsible energy. Yeah, I'm getting an apology. Is, does someone need to apologize to somebody? But I'm getting like, they, they hope that you are doing the right thing or things work out in your favor. Because to them, it looks like things are just moving really slow. And um, someone, and someone could be very uh, unstable or a situation at home could be unstable. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Strength card and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, someone here is possibly having the confidence to say how they feel, but I feel like when they do say when they do say this to you, it's definitely true about like it's really truly how they feel. Yeah, see, we got the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands, and it's like the universe is like saying like it's time for this to be said. Okay, 
time for me to say this because the, somebody here feels like you could, you know, not being honest. Okay, you're not telling the truth. And I'm getting like somebody here is like trying to work and build towards something. I'm getting like with the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. I'm getting rules and boundaries of how things should go. Okay. I'm getting rules and boundaries of how things should go here. All right. So let's see how you're viewing your person. the highest of the high if you don't know that i'll see you so don't ever wonder it's like i ain't going nowhere don't ever wonder how are they viewing virgos how is this person viewing no i mean how is virgo viewing this person i'm sorry how is virgo viewing this person Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Cups, okay? So maybe you are feeling, we got the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands and the Six of Cups. Hold on, guys. Let me cut this phone off. So we got the two of wands and the six of cups here and the ace of pentacles and the nine of swords. So I feel like you are planning something. You're planning to go back to something or there's children involved because we got the six of cups. See how the kids are just are running around and like I feel like you're planning something. You're planning on going back once possibly you get your finances together. Um, with the nine of swords, this may be something that is pressuring you that is on your mind a lot. Okay, but I'm getting like there's just a lot of inconsistency and a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. But you're viewing this person. We got the Eight of Cups. So this, you may feel like this person walked out or left. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, left you uh, out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all may have got put out or this person just abandoned you. We got the World and the Ten of Wands. And this is like, yeah, that's the last time. The World and the Ten of Wands. Like, yeah, that's. That I'm going to close this chapter. That's the last time you're going to do that to me. And the sun and the knight of pentacles. And the page of cups. And the four of wands. Yeah, I'm getting like you feel like this person abandoned you. Threw you out. Left you out in the cold. Why is the five of pentacles here? Yeah, the five of wands. There may have been a disagreement. This just jumped out. And the knight of cups. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody owes somebody an apology. Maybe you decide that you're not going to go back until this person apologizes to you. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, there was definitely a disagreement with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Three of Cups and the Page of Swords. There's been some gossiping, some he says, she say. Okay, there's been some, definitely been some gossiping, some spying. Some, oh, well, she said this, or he said that, and da 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 it's been some of that. Okay, so, it's like there was a shake-up, and then there's like, well, this is what happened, that's what happened, this is that, whoop, 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 that type of energy. But you feel like this person, like, left you out in the cold. With the Six of Wands here, why is the Six of Wands? Six of Wands is success. See, yes. See, now, you... 
We got the Six of Wands and the Star card. This is somebody who is definitely destined for greatness. Okay. This is somebody who's definitely destined for greatness with the Six of Wands and the Star card. And the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't want to be around this person because you may feel like this person's energy is negative with the double card here and the four of cups. But I feel like you may not know how to express that. Why is the star card here? Yeah, the ten of pentacles. Definitely. Um, somebody is definitely, you feel like this person may think that they're better or think that they're all that. Um, maybe because they they may have, you know... A relationship or a marriage with the Ten of Pentacles or money in the bank. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Every card here is saying like success. Um, with the World card and the Ten of Wands, yeah, you are done. Like you, you're done with that. If they're coming at you like that, you're like, nah, I ain't trying to hear it. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Fool. Okay. So, I feel like you, some of you guys are financially burdened uh, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, okay? Some of you, it may definitely be like you're trying to get your finances together. And a lot of people are going through that at this time. A lot of people are going through that at this time. Don't think you guys are by yourself with it. Because I've done a lot of readings where... The goal and the focus now is career and finances. So a lot of people are feeling it. A lot of people are feeling it. Why is the fool card here? Yeah, see, ooh, I'm kidding. Ooh. For some of you, there's possibly like suicide thoughts, and I really don't like to even talk like that. But I'm speaking, I'm, I'm going to speak on it because this is how it came out. The Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Um, I don't like that energy, but it's not, if this is something that some of y'all are contemplating, this is definitely, that's definitely not going to be the answer. It's definitely not. Why is the fool here? And y'all should go make sure that y'all get the help that y'all need. It's not, it's, everybody is going through a tough time during the pandemic. Okay. This is a pandemic. Okay. And nobody is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not it's not going to be worth it for you guys to be this burdened or sad because this situation could most definitely be very, very temporary, okay? It looks like you guys, um, why is the Seven of Cups here? Knight of Wands, okay. So, I'm getting like there's a lot of back and forth, like looking at looking at all of your options, using all of your resources. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely seeing that. Like, this could be a conversation that you're having with this person. Like, you feel like they uh, left you out in the cold and. They're good or they're straight, but they didn't make sure that you were good. Um, I feel like you may feel really boggled down a little bit to the point to where, you know, it's frustrating you. But I do see you guys opening up all of your avenues with the Seven of Cups, looking at all of your options, looking at all of your resources. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And I see busy, like you guys getting busy okay yeah with the strength card see yeah you're gonna have to pull yourself together guys okay you're gonna have to pull yourselves together and find that inner strength okay because i feel like y'all want to pop back up on this person with the nine of cups in the tower i feel like y'all want to pop back up on this person and be together and you know what i'm saying like oh the wheel of fortune yeah the table's unturnable. Yeah, yeah. This this is a whole new energy. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I feel like right now you guys could just be feeling a little pressure of, you know, 
trying to get things in order, trying to find order in this situation because you just feel, I feel like some of y'all feel like somebody just threw y'all to the wolves. Um, and there, like I said, there was most definitely a disagreement. A disagreement. Somebody was definitely talking smack. Page of cups, five of wands, five of swords. Definitely somebody spoke. Somebody was fighting below the belt with the five of swords. You felt like this person was fighting below the belt. Yep. And somebody's feelings got hurt. So you feel like somebody's feel, you hurt somebody's feelings or their feelings, you know, like somebody was just fighting below the belt. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you possibly saw this coming. We got the three. No, you didn't see this coming with the two of swords and the three of wands. Like you ain't see that coming. You ain't see that coming. Why is the King of Cups here? The Sun card. Because this person is usually positive. So you didn't see that coming. Right. The two of wands and the ace of pentacles. Like you you was planning, you know, you was planning, you you was plotting uh or had a plan for something better. Okay? But there's the this truth came out. Or you was waiting for this truth to come out. With the three of wands and the ace of swords or you was waiting to have a conversation with this person maybe you was waiting for the right moment to have a conversation with this person but that um that uh, retrograde in uh aries mars retrograde in aries made all of that just come out like it just came out it just flew out it just came out like water it just came out like water All right, so let's do a quick read and see what's going to come of this. So what's, what's coming ahead? Give me a message for Virgo. Woo! Yeah, I can tell them I got a little messy. Look how them cars shuffling up. All right, so let go you guys' energy to hermit, the three of swords. Like, I feel like you guys are hurting and you're trying to heal. Look at this, the three of swords. And then we got the temperance. Like, I feel like this person really hurt your feelings and you feel damaged. I feel like y'all are hurt. Y'all are really, you know, hurt by this situation. Yeah, knight of swords. Like, it happened so fast. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. But like I said, we got the King of Cups and the Five of Swords. See, yeah, and the Five of Wands, like I said. Somebody who's definitely fighting below the bill and then somebody left, okay, with the Eight of Cups. So I feel like you guys with the Three of Swords and the Hermit, you guys, the Hermit is you guys' energy. The Three of Swords, this person hurt, this person really hurt your feelings. Like, they really hurt your feelings. And then with the temperance card here, you know, you're trying to do some healing. Maybe you're deciding to keep your distance with that hermit energy. Because we know that's you guys' energy. Like, y'all will, will go, you know, go do some soul searching, go on your own to kind of, like, you know, heal. So, y'all are distancing yourself from the situation until you get your, until you get you together. I feel like because we got the Ten of Pentacles here. This could have been family-oriented or it was possibly a disagreement about money or something to that nature. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, I don't really like that energy because this is somebody who's like just comfortable and just laying there doing nothing. This is very, like, depressive energy, and it's kind of like somebody who's just, like, not doing anything, okay? Like, doing nothing. This is absolutely doing nothing, okay? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The moon. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is keeping you up at night. Like, you're constantly thinking. It's like you're kind of going crazy over this situation. The Nine of Swords, this shit is really fucking with you. Oh, excuse my language. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Like I said, you're keeping busy to keep your head above water. Okay? 
You're watching what you say. Um, but you're keeping an eye on this person with the page of swords and knight of cups and the hangman. You're possibly waiting for this person to reach out or waiting to reach out to this person with the king of swords here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But right now, I feel like y'all are just going to be watching what y'all say and kind of like keeping your distance. With the nine of pentacles, you're going to be doing things independently. Like you're focused on yourself, okay? And you're looking at everything around you, looking at all your options. The knight of wands, you're just kind of like doing things yourself. Like you're moving and grooving and making moves on your own. Because right now, I feel like you guys need to do some healing or you guys are doing some healing. Because this situation really kind of like messed y'all up. Like y'all feelings. Yeah, the four of wands. Yeah, like, you kind of, like, afraid to take action towards this person with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, like, I'm getting the Lover's card. It could be a Gemini, but this is, like, a decision to just move on from it. Like, just to, just to let it go, you know? Move on from this situation. You know, give it some time. Give it, give it some space because I feel like that's what you guys are doing. Like, y'all decide to give this situation some space yeah five of pentacles you feel abandoned and left out in the cold and rejected i feel like you're waiting for this person to offer or waiting for this person to reach out to you um yeah see like you'll be happy if this person reaches out to you and contacts you but i feel like you don't want to make the first move towards this person and you're just going to deal with you, do what you can do while you can until this person reaches out or until somebody offers a, a, a helping hand. But I feel like right now, this is where you possibly are. Like, I feel like some of y'all are really sad in a situation because you were, you feel rejected. So now you're healing. You're trying to heal from the situation. But it's kind of like got you screwed up in the head with the Knight of Swords and the Moon and the Nine of Swords. Like you're stressing out about the situation, but going ahead, it looks like, you know, you're, it looks like with the Nine of Pentacles, you're just going to have to face, face reality and look at this situation the best way possible and get it on your own. You're going to have to find a way to be independent. And it looks like y'all are going to have your options open. So, and y'all going to be making moves with the Knight of Wands. You know, but this is kind of like all over the place energy, scrambling, trying to hurry up and rush to make things happen or here and there. But I feel like you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. This is just something temporary. Knight of Wands is temporary energy. Okay, so it's not nothing that's going to be permanent or for a long period of time. Okay, but I, I really hope that you guys... Um, you know, come out of that, that energy and look at all your resources and and do, you know, do the best that you can. So, I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. And until next time, guys, let me clean y'all up. I'm going to clean y'all up. Until next time, guys. And ciao.